Hi everyone. Today we'd like to discuss and introduce the V4 Basic Kit. This is a, essentially a successor to the V3.5 Basic Kit and it includes improvements and suggestions we had from that kit. Uh, we've made this at a very attractive price. It's the ultimate kit for the DIYer that wants to use as many components as they have themselves. So let's just go ahead and begin with an overview on what you will receive with the V3.5 basic kit. First, your kit will come in a nice double wall box. It has nice foam protection and four corners, both on top and bottom. So you'll simply take this off. It sh uh, we already have cut out, so it's sh the foam should be a lot easier to take off. So we'll take this foam off and then show you what's inside. All right, so we offer various different color op lid options. Right now we have a, a black lid and a yellow lid, and so we'll have uh, up to eight different colors for you to choose from. So basically with that off, you'll have a protected cover. You can go ahead and take that off and then just sort of pull your kit out and we'll show you what's inside. All right, with the kit taken out of the box, you should sort of see the basic SFK V4 kit. It is going to be our V4, so there are no more uh, rivet points on the side. Uh, it's a smooth case. It has uh, one way to tell the V4 is you'll usually have an SFK on the bottom of the case and you'll have the places to latch on your rope to uh, attach as handles. So this will require a hex allen key so we'll take off these four screws and show you what's inside. All right so with the lid taken off we can now see what's sort of inside. Um, all V4 kits come with a fiberglass base, which is about 1.8 or 3 millimeters uh, thick. This provides excellent thermal resistance and provides a safety cover in case you did have any sort of issue with your BMS. It will protect your cells from getting any sort of direct impact uh, in, in case you have a BMS failure. Um, another thing is with the V4, all of the base plates are the same. The only really differences are these mounting points for the different BMSs. The basic edition does not include a BMS, but you can select which type of mounting bracket that you'd like for your BMSs. So we'll show you some examples of BMSs here and give you an idea what you can sort of do with the V4 basic. So we, here we have some different examples of BMSs. We have a Dali 150, a SFK 200, and also SFK 150. Um, other examples of BMSs that we support, the JBD-100, JBD-150, uh, uh, the JBD-200, uh, uh, the JK or G-Kong 200 for slash 8S BMS. And we can usually make whatever type of mounting bracket that you may need. So um, again, the plates are common among. The only thing that's really changing is the mounting bracket. So um, even if you decide to switch to a different BMS, the only thing that you'll need is the different bracket and those are fairly affordable we can get those out to you but it provides a nice base very solid very rigid and it's bespoke as you can see the bottom of the plate has sort of flush mount screws so it makes mounting very smooth and easy and if again if you ever need a change you'll be able to change it um, one other thing to notice, all V4s come with aluminum standoffs that are standard. So these will pr provide extremely good accuracy and rigidity. And um, you shouldn't have any sort of issues with these breaking or um, any type of other uh, issue that uh, was possible with the uh, previous version 3 and 3.5. So let's go ahead and take this plate off and see what we have underneath. All right, so with the top plate taken off, you'll sort of see your riser plate. Now, this has been revised, so it supports pretty much every type of cell between 280 to around 320 or so uh, amp hour range. So this includes your um, EVE 280K, EVE 304, uh, the Cal B 305, Cal B 280s, um, the REPT 280s, um, REPT 304s, uh, pretty much any cell in the 280 class 280 to 300 class will work. You'll also be able to use some cells in the 277 class. Uh, they should work. They may require you to put a small shim on the bottom floor to raise it because it is designed for around 204 millimeter height cells. If you have a question, just contact us. We'll confirm it, but we will have a listing on the page 
showing which cells it has confirmed. And yes, it does work with the EV standard dual pole terminals that EV is now selling directly. So this uh, V4C version of the riser is fully compliant with those type of cells. One thing we did want to point on the other underside, there is space for a 4S active balancer style balancer. Uh, we really like them and we do sell them. So if you're having some uh, concerns with your uh, cells balancing, especially if you're using grade B, you have a nice place to mount the active balancer. The basic kit does not include it. It can be added. Uh, just check our accessories page or uh, category we have it. But uh, that is there should you decide you wanted to add that. All right, so, okay, so moving on to the main case. So this is the V4 case, and we've sort of sort of keyed it so that it only goes a certain way. You'll notice that there are four screws on this side and three screws on this side. So this kind of makes it to where you can only put the plate on one way. And instead of us trying to put instructions this way, we physically made it to where it's impossible to try to mount it. So if you try to put this side on here, you will notice it's not touching anything. So this can only be mounted one way. And um, like I said, it, it has improved it. You'll notice we've already pre-cut some things. Now the basic kit does not come with heating, but if this was a higher version of the kit, you would see that the holes would allow you to uh, run heating pads beneath, as well as on the side. So there's a notch cut out for the side if you prefer sidewall. So we're we'll gonna take this off and let's see what we have inside. All right, so inside we have a couple things going on. Uh, you'll notice that we have sort of these little spacers and they're really important because most of your cells are 204 millimeter but some slot might be slightly taller so you can use these we pre-install it and this pretty much will work with any of the e280ks uh the catls cal b cells very common to see this so we have it and like i said there's a four and there's a two and one way you can wait figure out the four is the four is going to have a little sfk sort of uh uh, insignia on there. This sits on top of it so you can't see it, but it's how you determine which side is four, which side is three. Okay, so you also have two of these foam blocks that are on the side. They're removable, so you can take these out. Now, um, these can be sanded down, so if you find your kit's a little difficult, just take a flat piece of sandpaper uh, put it on the ground and then just rub this on top of the flat piece of sandpaper and it will very easily uh, go down in thickness. We recommend you do it the rough side. As you can see, there's a smooth side and the rough side. So if you're going to sand it down, sand down this area. And by doing that, it should make, if you're having difficulty, this should make installing your cells a little easier. All right, so let's see what we have hardware wise inside. We've got our handles. These are our new handles. They are very nice and it's an improvement over the barrel. They have um, a rope and a handle style. So you should be able to, um, you know, also there are some ridges in here, so it should be easier to, to move around with. So they're there. Um, we have these cell separators. So these basically put a sort of spacing uh, between them. Some people are concerned that they don't want cell to cell contact. So the V3 basic kit includes three of these, three one millimeters. Now, if you are having some issues or you're saying cells are too loose, we also offer a 1.5 millimeter set. And it's a very affordable, maybe like $5 for three of these. And this is just a little, uh, this a little thicker and uh, that should add, you, so, uh, add some little more uh, shimming uh, space should you need to. But from what we have found, most people say, hey, the one millimeter shim works very well. Okay, now let's see what else we have. You get a nice decal sticker that you can put on the side. We include some heat shrink, two sizes, a uh, sort of a about three quarter inch and about a half inch. And that's just to help make your lugs. So now let's move on to the hardware pack to kind of show you what's inside there. All right, so let's look at what we have in the hardware pack. So we'll include some of these sticky things that will help you run your balance wires a little easier. We include a few um, cell mounting lugs for balancer wires. Six millimeters seems to be the most common, so that is what we have included, and that's going to allow you to uh, sort of do that. There's uh, some M8 top mounting bolts as well as some M8 bolts that you can use to mount on the inside. 
So that's just to help complete your kit. Um, finally, the main uh, sort of thing is we include some nice uh, some nice wire for you. This is silicone wire, flexible. It's our own brand, uh, works fairly well. It is made in China, but um, copper with a tin coated works very well. And we include three colors for you. You've got a blue one. Normally you go from your cell negative to the BMS with that. You get about two feet of each color. So should be plenty and you can double them up to increase the current capacity. One of them can burst up to 100 amps, two of them can burst up to 200 amps, and you figure about 75 amps continuous, they'll be able to do it. And then we also include the red color. Um, so you have, you know, uh, nice uh, red as well. And this is going to be for your final positive to your cell lid. So yeah, three, uh, two foot lengths of wire. So a total of six feet. And the reason we are including this is because it's not easy just to get a small segment of six gauge wire, especially ultra soft silicone flexible wire, which almost everyone uses to build their batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and include that for you. Uh, we're not including lugs anymore because based on feedback, everyone sort of has their own preference. Some people want a slightly bigger lug, some people want a slightly smaller lug. So in order to get the cost for the basic down, we're just including the wire and then you can choose the lugs to um, that best meet your needs. But anyway, that is a little bit of overview of the V4 basic kit, uh, our most affordable kit. And um, I believe if you already have your BMS and your cells, this is going to be a great option for you. You'll have a battery that looks just like an OEM battery, but since you built it yourself, you'll save yourself a good bit of money. Um, before I end the video, I did want to mention one of the improvements we have done. You'll notice that there's a green band underneath the case, and that's just an improvement we've done. We've been using longer M4 mounting bolts, and then to increase the bite area, we actually have another sort of band running beneath it. And that's gonna just make sure that you don't end up having a situation where you can strip these out. Uh, we've actually snapped off stainless steel screws, it's held on very well, but uh, that's one of the improvements that we've made just based on feedback. So yeah, this is going to be um, you know an excellent kit option. All right, so that is it. If you have any questions, just email us. We'd be more than happy to help, but they're available now. We have ample in stock and we're ready to ship these out. Thank you.